friends. I am Miss Sharon and I am Isla's grandma. And I live in Spring Lake, Michigan. When Isla comes to visit, some of the fun things that we like to enjoy together, we love to go to the beach, find shells, make sand castles. We also love to go boating and we do try to catch a fish now and then. But the best thing when Isla comes to visit is that we get to spend that special time together. And the book that I've chosen to read to you today is A Little Engine That Could. I read this storybook to my children and now I read it to my grandchildren. Come along, I would like to read it to you today. Thank you for inviting me into your class. The Little Engine That Could. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train trembled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her car was filled with toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with good things to eat for the boys and girls and lollipops for after meal treats. Can you see the lollipops there? Yummy. Let's see what happens. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden, she stopped. She simply could not go anymore. Her wheels would not turn. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown who jumped out of the train. Please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat. Please, won't you help us? But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and dining cars with waiters. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. And off he steamed. Soon the little clown called out, look, a great big strong engine is coming. Please big engine, please create all the joys and tolls. Will you please pull our train over the mountain? I have just pulled a train with big heavy machines. I'm a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the big engine puffed off, puff, 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 puff he went. The little train and all the dolls and toys, they were very sad. The big engine is not the only one in the world, cried the little toy clown. Here comes another. Oh, he looks very old and tired. But our train is so little, perhaps he can help. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even a little train as you over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled. By now the dolls and toys, they were ready to cry. But the little clown said, here comes a little blue engine. A very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came. Chug, chug, chug along. It was a happy little blue engine. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Will you pull us over the mountain? Cried the dolls and toys. Our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side, they won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat. Please, can you help us? Let's 
see what happens. I'm not very big. I have never been over the mountain, but I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And the little blue engine hitched herself to the train. She tugged, she pulled, she tugged and she pulled. <gasps> slowly, 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 they started going up the mountain. Puff, 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 chug, chug, chug went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last the engine reached the top of the mountain. Hooray, 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 cried the little clowns and the dolls and the toys. The good little girls and boys in the city will be so happy because you helped us. Thank you, thank you. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she pulled steadily away, I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. That was a wonderful story, girls and boys. And you know why Miss Sharon loves this story so much? It's because it teaches us a lesson that if we are learning to ride our tricycle without the training wheels, or we are learning to take our floaties off and swim across the pool, or if we are learning to tie our own shoes, never give up. You just keep trying. Thank you for inviting me into your classroom. Everyone have a happy day. Thank you. I love you, Isla.